This is annoying to look at. Uh, I want to get a good microphone at some point. I'm pretty broke right now. So, and I barely have time to make videos, which I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make more videos, try to get a microphone. But anyways, also, I don't normally wear my chain out of my shirt. I think that's kind of lame, kind of douchey. But, uh... I don't want it to mess with the mic, so, yeah, so let's just get into this. Uh, one problem is, I don't use a whole lot, like I've skateboarded my whole life, and, but there's so many products that I probably haven't really tried, I mean, basically, this video, this review is probably going to kind of suck, but, well, I'll just talk about what I know. Like, I've skated a lot of different brands, shoes, boards, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I don't even remember, you know, like, how they were. Um, anyways, let's just get into this. First off is, uh, Vans. I love the company Vans. The cool team, cool skaters, cool company. I just don't really wear Vans. I wish I did. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like they're really thin shoes, like not a lot of uh, cushion for your feet. Um, don't, I think they're super sick. Because they're thin, they give you a really good board feel. Like you feel the board right under your feet. And uh, I mean, that's sick. There's a lot of sick skaters that skate Vans. Um, like I said, I like the look, I think it's a really cool company, but, uh, yeah, basically I had one pair of, I think it was old school bands years ago, many, many, many years ago, and they were good, I was skating them, I got used to them, thought they were okay, um, this is right after the first Black Label video came out, and that video is sick, um, Label kills. That video is still freaking awesome. But, uh, anyways, I've skated on for like a week. And maybe it was just basically I broke my toe just by like stepping off my board, like hitting a rail, and then just took my front of my board, stepped weird, and just broke my toe. And like, I always felt like because they were really thin shoes, like on the bottoms and everything, that, uh, yeah, I basically I kind of blame the shoes. Like, you know, that's kind of stupid, but I mean, I just haven't really skated. I've tried on some bands, and I'm always just kind of like, pretty much like, they have great board feel. Like, uh, there's not a lot, you know, separating you from the board, so, you know, you can skate really good. But yeah, not a lot of padding. And like, I'm getting older, so like, when I was younger, I used to just go for broke, try crazy tricks, big gas, big stairs, whatever, whatever. But then got older and then just kind of chilled out. I just skate for fun. Like, you know, I'll hit flip tricks over the pyramid. Or like, you know, basically, like I care more about not getting injured nowadays than uh, back in the day. Trying to do crazy, awesome tricks. See, like, what you're capable of. So, I kind of look for padding. Uh, not that that's like going to prevent a big injury. Obviously, you're still going to roll your ankle um, and stuff like that. But just annoying minor injuries like banging up your foot or like 
stuff like that. Plus, yeah, like, my toe, like, I just stepped wrong and broke my toe, and that pissed me off. So, those, that's my thoughts on bands. Sick company. Love them. A lot of good skaters. Rock fans. But, I just don't skate bands. I don't think they don't have enough padding for me. Uh, that sounds so lame, but whatever. Okay. A shoe company I do like. Okay, uh, let's see. So, Adidas. These are... My mic touching. Fuck. Uh, just the mic. Okay. These are the Campus Hives. Uh, they're like a suede type shoe. Oh, I mean, that the suede type material. Uh, normally, I don't go for suede. Suede is like the best skate material. Everyone goes for suede. But like, I feel like it rips easy. I'm just a paranoid motherfucker. <laughs> but uh, the few pairs of shoes I have, I mean, these, they're not even, they don't even have a hole in it, so. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, one suede shoe, uh, like highs that I had back in the day. The first time I skated them, like a, an hour of skating, and th there was a giant hole ripped in it. So I was like, man, screw suede shoes, even though they are an awesome skate material. Um, but these kind of maybe changed my mind because there's not even a hole in these. And I've skated these for like a while. I've had them for over a year. But I didn't skate them. I was skating these other shoes. I would just wear these. But I finally started skating these and started liking them. And there isn't a hole or anything in them. So. Uh, also, I swapped out the sole, the insole. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a red. I went to my house because the soles got messed up, so I had to switch them out. But, uh, yeah. One thing about Adidas is a really, really cool company. I think it was started, like, the skateboarding sector of Adidas was, I believe, started by Mark Gonzalez, 666 skater. Crazy legend. Hilarious. Crazy dude. Mark Gonzalez. If you don't know him, I recommend checking him out. But, um. Sick, sick team. My favorite skate videos to watch. Well, there's a lot of sick stuff out there. Like, I just found a channel called. on YouTube. called Lurk NYC. L U R K N Y C. So it's like a New York company, obviously, I'm guessing. Well, not company, but. It's uh, basically just sick ass footage of like New York skating. It's sick. You'll like it. Uh, so that's why I've been watching that a lot of that. But anyways, as far as skate team videos, I like to watch. Uh, I mean, I like it all. There's too many sick people out there. But one of my go-to companies, Adidas. I love their team. Lem Valem, he's sick. Dave Pachinski. Everyone on Adidas is sick. Um, Benny Fairfax, just a really cool, well-rounded team. They make really good, well-rounded edits. Uh, so yeah, Adidas, and the shoes are really good too. Some of my friends say their Adidas Buse Knits are like the best skate shoes they've ever had. I've tried on the Buse Knits. Buse, Dennis Buse Knits is a sick, sick skater. He's awesome. Um, Every time I try them on, I feel like my foot will just slip out of them, so I've never got them. Maybe I just need to tighten them up. I don't know, but... Like, I try them on, I feel like they'll slip off my feet, so I never try them out. But, like, at you know, least two of my friends say they're the best skate shoes they've ever had, and they keep getting them, so... Okay. Um, so, yeah, Adidas. Love the skate team, love the videos. Here's the skate shoes I was skating for these. You've probably never heard of this company. 
This next company you probably haven't heard of. It's a pretty underground company. This was the last shoes I would skate. It's uh, called Praxis. So. Yeah. It's an underground company. I don't even know if it's still around. It probably is. Uh, yeah, apparently someone told me it was an old company like from the 90s. And then it got brought back. I don't know if that's true, it probably is. But at least a while ago. It's called Praxis. Uh, I stopped skating these just because I got sick of high tops. I wore high tops for a long time. Uh, I think it because it'll protect my ankle a little bit, but I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. Just don't roll your ankle either way. Uh, these. I mean, these are the campus highs. So, I don't know if they're. These are considered really high tops. Maybe they are high tops. No, these aren't high tops. Well. Okay, I guess these are. These are obviously really high though. <laughs> um, plus, they, were, they didn't fit very well. I should have got a size less. But they fit pretty decent, so I was like, screw it. I investigated them. Really, really good shoe. Praxis. Oh, amazing shoe. Like, skated really, really well. I just got sick of the high top, so I went to the Adidas that I was wearing. Um, but yeah, one thing about it, it's underground, no one really knows them, so it's kind of cool. Started by a more broad back, I don't know, but Carl Watson, K-A-R-L Watson. Carl Watson, if you know about him, he skates for, or skated, I don't know, I'm so out of the loop. Uh, I don't get magazines or why I like watch videos here and there. Uh, like I said, I'm, a, I'm older, so like, uh, I've been skating my whole life. And probably past, I don't even know, six or seven years, I stopped paying attention to the whole skateboarding scene somewhat, just because there's so many crazy skaters out there. Uh, not for any reason, but I just stopped getting magazines and stuff like that. I should probably get some more magazines. But there's just so many good skaters coming out, it's just like, I don't even care. Like, not to sound lame, but, like, there were already so many, there's so many good skaters out there that, like, I don't really care if someone, like, switch hard flipped, like, a 20 stair, you know, like, although a switch hard flip would be sick. <laughs> uh, I've hit two switch hard flips in my life, well, three, I think. I should probably go learn those. But, uh, I mean, you see crazy kids doing all that kick flip crook down a handrail, now he'll flip out, and like, blah, 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 which is sick. Basically, I don't give a damn. Like, I like chill skating. Like, I'll watch an old video that has, like, decent tricks, like, from a crook down a handrail, and like, you know, like, I just like skateboarding that looks like fun. I'm probably, I can't really explain what I'm saying. Maybe some people understand what I'm saying. But, like, I just don't care about how crazy good skateboard is becoming. Obviously, it's going to keep progressing. But, uh, as long as it looks like a fun, cool video and makes, makes you want to skate, uh, that's all that matters. So, I like chill tricks. Um, this probably, probably sound like a dumbass. Uh, anyways, back to the review. So, Carl Watson, 6'6 six, six skater. Super, like, chill. Skates for Organica, he's got like the dreads, the little, little braids, the little dreads, whatever the hell. Uh, anyways, he's from like San Francisco. One thing he does that's really sick, I always like, one of his tricks is like, uh, switch front boards on like ledges and stuff like that, and popping out early. Like I always thought that was kind of unique. Um, another thing he does is, uh, he'll be nose manually. And then just like, without popping really, he'll somehow just like, whoosh, and switch, flip 180. I'll just be like, nose man, then 180. Boom, to like a switch nose manual. Like, looks pretty sick. Like, he doesn't just pivot and do it, and he doesn't necessarily pop a huge down 180. He just kind of like, boom, boom. I don't know, pretty sick. 
I haven't seen any footage of him in a while. Um, anyways, apparently he brought this company back or started it. One thing that's cool about it is the description of the shoe. Sorry, I just... So, when I was ordering this shoe, you know how there's a little description? It'll say like, leather sole, or like, suede upper, you know, and like, blah blah blah, uh, a synthetic new book, blah blah, you know, it's a description. The only thing it said for Praxis shoes in the description was, this company is about the, um, I don't even remember what it said, but it was something like short and like cool, but like, this company is all about the essence of skateboarding. And that's all it said in the description for each shoe. So I was like, damn, that's pretty badass. And it's a pretty stylish, weird company, like, they got a cool symbol. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's like three lines, three bubbly lines. But uh, one thing that's really cool is the sole of the shoe. They say it has the sacred sole. As you can see, there's the symbol for Praxis. But really badass art for the soul. It's like, um, yeah, it's called the sacred soul. Almost like it's giving you like some sacred power when you're skating. So I thought that was pretty badass, pretty sick. Good grip too. So these are awesome shoes. I should probably look for some more Praxis. That's an underground company, it's not really well known. And a lot of their shoes have really, really high top, high tops. So, which is kind of, I guess, their style, but they have low tops too, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just kind of guess they can high top type shoes, but, even though these are basically, like, high tops, I guess, but, anyways, so this was more of a rant video, ramble video, but, Yeah, let me talk about some boards real quick. Uh, one board that's sticking out in my head is, if you haven't heard of Go Miyagi, I think I talked about him, or I showed the board in one of my old tapping videos. I think it was like the first video I ever made, but it wasn't the first that I released. I think it was like the third, it's like me tapping, and uh, it's like the third video I think I've put on YouTube, but I actually filmed it. It was just a test video. And then I was bored one day and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to release this one. So I put that up there. But that was actually the first video I ever filmed. I was just testing out the camera for ASMR, like, microphone style, if that makes sense. Seeing how it sounds, talking and blah blah blah. But this is what it is. But that board was a Go Miyagi. He is insane. He's finally getting known now. Um, I actually knew about him before he was even on th the Thrasher website. And uh, I saw him from a random website, like a hip hop website. They're like, the video was like, look at this crazy ass Japanese skater. And uh, I remember watching it being like, damn, like this dude is sick. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, nobody knew who he was. And I was at a skate shop. And they had all the boards up on the wall, you know. And um, they have each section, you know. And then under, off the wall, it's just a section of boards or a pile of like crappy discount boards or not crappy, but I think they were yet yeah, discounted. And there was a Komiyagi deck. And I'm wondering like, why the hell is it down here? Just because nobody knew who he was. So I guess they didn't put it up on the wall. Plus, the brand that he skates for is called Heroin Skateboards, which is kind of a lame name. Like, I'm not trying to support drugs or heroin, but that's the name of the company. And I think it's because it's supposed to be, like, a joke of, like, skateboarding is addicting. So, Heroin Skateboards. But, uh, and I think they're made by the Baker. Like, wherever Baker gets their boards from, I think it's the same. So, like, Baker and Heroin, I think, are same skateboards um just in different 
I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm not 100% on that, so don't quote me. But, uh, anyways, I saw that. I'm, I'm like, holy shit, like, why is this on the ground? Why is this discounted? Like, well, I didn't say that. I took the discount, but, uh, yeah, I like, I remember telling the dudes, like, do you know who this dude is? And all the dudes behind the counter, skaters for the longest time, were like, nah, i never heard of him. And I was like, dude, look him up. He's fucking crazy. So, but anyways, that board was awesome. Fat ass nose. Like, you got the board, and then the nose, nice and fat, like steep, but concave, which I like. And then the tail was also pretty steep. That's one thing I don't like about a lot of boards. Uh, I love, and it sucks because I love the companies. Cliche. It's like a European company. Super sick. I've actually had a couple of their boards, even though I'm about to not talk shit about them. But. And then Habitat Skateboards. Love the company. Love the style. Love the team. But And I've had a couple of their boards too, but I don't really... I feel like they have their tails, like the nose. The nose is nice and steep. And then the tail is kind of flattish. It's not steep. It's like... So, after skating it for a while, I feel like, you know, because the more you skate your board, the more flatter it gets and shittier it gets. And, uh, you know, worn in and used up, I guess. But, like, Cliché and Habitat and other companies, uh, probably a lot, most companies, uh, I just feel like their tails weren't very steep. So after, like, skating for a while, my nose would still be nice and steep, have a lot of pop, but the tail would be kind of flattish. And then it was just a weird... Like, my tail was really flat, my nose was really big, and I don't like how it was, like, so different. So I like boards out there with a really steep tail. So, so that way, God do do a lot of nollie and switch tricks using the nose. Um, but I don't like when my tail flattens a lot before the nose, is what I'm basically getting at. I like it to be kind of even. So, heroin skateboard, I remember, like, that had a pretty fat tail, lasted for a while. Um, board I'm skating now, Expedition 1, pretty fat tail, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, Cliché and Habitat didn't really have much of a fat tail. But I still like the boards, I still ripped them. They're pretty good boards, so I'm not downing them. This is just my weird opinions. Uh, Enjoy, awesome company, awesome team, good boards. Um, I forget if the tail was really steep or not. Uh, I think it was pretty decent. So, this pretty much sucks for a review video, but at least I talked about a few companies. And if you wanted to know, that's kind of just some of my thoughts on boards and shoes. So, um, yeah, I'll probably. This video is probably going for a while. Um, so. I just wanted to throw a quick video in. Uh, I might put this up before the Skate Doctor roleplay, but I'm working on that now. It's almost done. I've just been working on other things too. So it's been, I haven't been in a good environment to finish it. I'm always around loud noise and stuff. Um, so it's kind of hard to edit an ASMR video. But um, right now it's quiet. I'm about to go work on it. And I figured, hey, I'll just film something real quick. So. Maybe I'll upload this first, but we'll see. Uh, one thing that annoyed me about the Skate Doctor roleplay is uh, I just kind of like, out of nowhere, I was like about to go to sleep and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to film it. I'm going to film this video. So I put on a dress shirt, came down and filmed it. I didn't like do my hair or anything or like, you know, basically I just threw on a shirt and filmed the video. And then like I watched it, my hair's kind of messed up. And it kind of annoyed me. Like, I'm just looking at it like, wow, my hair's messed up this whole video. Like, I'm going to be staring at it. Like, I don't know. You know, kind of stupid. Doesn't really matter, but. So, hope you enjoyed this little review video. Uh, and I'm going to try to get more videos as soon as possible. I'm going to do uh, some tutorial videos, too. That's going to be. And I'm going to skate through the forest to skate sounds. Video, so uh, Adidas, great company, great shoes. Just make sure it's Adidas skateboarding, because there's other Adidas shoes that look like skate shoes, but they're not technically 
skate shoes. You can definitely skate them. You can skate any shoe. Like my buddy bought some at, a, at like a discount shoe store. And uh, I went to go grab the same shoe. Or like, I was like, hey, where'd you get those? You know, because they were super cheap. And when I went there and checked it out, and I saw the model name and number, and I didn't see Adidas skateboarding anywhere on it. So I looked up, turns out it was a basketball shoe, technically. You could still skate it, as long as it's like, like it had the flat bottom and everything. But I would rather skate a shoe that's made for skating, just because, um, obviously you can be a badass and like skate a basketball shoe and rip and like whatever, whatever, whatever. Like yeah, that's cool and all. But like I said, I'm trying not to get injured. So like I'm gonna use every advantage I can. So if I got a shoe made for skating, which probably has a little extra padding, you know, and et cetera, et cetera, then a basketball shoe that can be skated, not really, it's not really super basketballish. It's not really skatish. It was kind of a, it was, it looked like a skate shoe, honestly. But I'd rather have a skate shoe than a basketball shoe just because different shoes are made for different things. And I'm sure the skate shoe has a couple light up, probably doesn't even matter, but like I said, I'm gonna use every advantage to not get injured. Um, <laughs> hopefully this all makes sense and I don't sound like an idiot. Uh, yeah. Great shoes. Heroin skateboards, Go Miyagi, six skater. Definitely gotta get another one of those boards. Um, so, hopefully this review was a good ASMR video. As far as the skate review video, probably not that great, but, you know, I just shared some of my thoughts. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and have a great night. Sacred Soul. <laughs> this shoe is amazing. Praxis. Definitely, definitely sick company.